If this town's madness continues, I'll have to start revoking passes. The bar's empty. What brings you here? Well, I'm trying to save my aunt. And Addie. Wait, you're Sam's daughter. Oh, look at you, as tall as a mast. I remember. Aunt Addie used to bring you in here for breakfast every Sunday. You loved my wife's omelets. Now, what's this about us? Steamer. Well, the steamboat is lost. Come again? Well, I tainted it myself. Someone did that on purpose. I have an idea. I'll get an anchor big enough to hold it. You look for a chain. We can make a grappling hook and drag the boat to shore. Let's get going, sweetie. Okay, so we have introduced a pirate character into the mix. Sure. Sure, why not? Let's go with it. Let's let's go with it. Should be lots of fun. And finally, we get to use this wheel that we've been carrying around forever. Um, okay, that gives me a lock. Perfect, but I still need to find some chains. And there's a chain. So let's see. Um, perhaps I need to go back here. I bet I'm using this key here to get that chain. Minor puzzle here. We want to fix the chain with the two locks. And then give it to the pirate. Let's get this show going. It's not actually a pirate, he's an old sailor, but... I, I don't know! We'll see. I'll be in the bar if you need me. Sure, just let me uh, tackle the killer by myself. I'll be fine. No need to help, mister. No need to help at all. Where's my aunt? Oh dear. Oh no, somebody trashed her place. No, oh, and the villain wants to play the evil song of stone, you know, the freezing song. The villain wants to play that song all over the town to, to, to freeze everyone in New Orleans. Yeah, there is no way we are going to be able to fix this place. This place is a disaster, and I'm just using the hints to the sure that uh, to ensure that I haven't missed anything, which apparently I have. I found a jack handle, so this means I should be able to repair that jack I saw earlier. You know, the one right over here. Is trying to go after her because she's the last person left and that paper is damaged to the core very much damaged oh and there's a valve no it looks like I'm still back here in the steamboat okay why do I keep missing things on this screen you know what no comment I'm just horrible at finding things on this screen I, I don't think there's any need to comment. Sailor! Old sailor, where are you? Kinda need your help here. Well, fine, I'll run the projector by myself. Ah, lens is broken. Let's put on a new one. I believe this is our final slide show challenge. Frankie's death was an accident, but... Adele was never quite the same. Where does this go? The scarf goes on her, right? The Peppers grew apart. The band was done for. If not for Samuel Sterling, Adele's widowed brother and his little girl gave her life new meaning and purpose. Samuel, the brilliant sax player himself, took it upon himself to rebuild the band. Under his leadership, the whole world of jazz fans knew their names and music. Sam, Eddie, Benny, and Adele started their own businesses, and Tom went into politics. For about a decade, all was as it should be. Yeah, my dad's a pretty cool guy. 
But then came the threats. That doesn't sound good. Threats? It started with crazy letters, which kept coming for months. At first, no one took the threat seriously. But the letters got more violent, with news clippings and cut-up photos of bandmates. Some of them got paranoid. Ed even thought he saw Frankie alive. He was convinced Frankie was back from the dead to terrorize them. One day, Ed met a sad and lonely death, and the killer wasn't done. Yeah, so let's see, Ed was killed, and, and... Well, huh. Ed was killed, Let but the... Let me see that photo. Uh, I'm trying to talk here. Ed was killed, but the other people were just frozen, so I guess they can be revived. We've got the song which will revive them. Wait a minute. I recognize the back side of it. It's a special ink that fades over time. I have a solution in my safe that will make it visible again. Unfortunately, I have difficulty remembering the code, but I do have a system for it. Hey, the combo's tattooed to my back. Help me read it off, will ya? This is crazy. It was love at first sight, at least for me. We were young and so in love. Ah, the old days. You want to find things which, um, or which match with what he's saying. But then, one day, our love ended. She left me for a better man. Broke my heart. That's when I decided never to settle again. Never to stay put. I was going to travel the globe. See the world. Be free. So I became a sailor. Wind in my hair, endless sea, the fish and crabs in my net, my only company. Yeah, so apparently this is how he enters his safe. He lifts up his shirt and tells everybody a long, complicated story about his life. Yeah. Um, okay, where, where's the other crab? I don't see it anywhere. This seems like a very complicated system for remembering your safe combination. I sailed all around the world, saw strange things, had some good luck, had some bad luck. Life of a sailor, eh? I remember this one day, this huge storm nearly sunk my ship. How I got to the coast, I don't even know. But the storm was child's play compared to those blasted pirates. They almost got me, but my ship was faster. Oh, I guess this guy isn't a pirate. He seems to dislike pirates. And if you think storms and pirates were bad, wait till you hear about that giant octopus. I managed to shoot it with a harpoon and get away. It wasn't all bad, though. I remember in Tokyo, I met a beautiful geisha. That got me thinking about settling again. Only a woman can get a man to think like that, let me tell you. So I decided I had enough bruises and scars for one lifetime, and that it was time to drop the anchor again and find a home on land. I stayed right here in New Orleans, where I opened a bar for old sailors and sea wolves like me. These days, the only ship I see is Adele's steamboat. Can't say I mind, though. My sailing days are behind me. There we go. It's the code. Overly, overly complicated, sir. Overly, overly complicated. Seriously, next time, just write the code down. Just write it down. Just write it down. Keep it in a safe place. Hopefully not the safe, because, well, you, you, you will need the code to open up your safe. Six... That's the only thing worth protecting, sir? Your your ink solution? Oh well, let's see what it's a picture of. 
it's a picture of the steamship, which means the the killer went to Benny's Zeppelin. So, Zeppelin, grab the car, drive to the Zeppelin. Oh, jeez! Okay, it's taking off. Oh, I'm not too late. Well, that's good. Wow, I showed up just in time. And just, just in time to solve the puzzle. Oh, oh dear. Oh, okay. Um, sure, sure. So this piece goes over here on the left, the far left-hand side. So let's get that far left-hand side piece into place. And let's see, I think this piece goes on the next far left. So let's... That piece there. You're just shuffling pieces around at this point. Oh no, and I mixed those two pieces up. Well, that's. Whatever. Over here! Oh hey, it's the taxi driver. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, I need to get rid of those handcuffs. Okay. Um, not sure how to do that. Do I have anything to help? Nice job. Now give me a couple minutes and I'll pick this lock. He went into the cockpit and locked the door behind him. I saw him use it. The bars next to the door show how to set up the valves to open it. This guy's crazy. He's about to use the Zeppelin to broadcast some song over the entire city. He's gonna use it to get that woman he's after. The whole town will be affected by it. Okay, so the solution was to give the lock pick to this, uh, to that guy. So the solution is, we want yellow on three, blue on two, pink on three. So yellow on three, pink on three, blue on two, and green on four. That unlocks this door. Hey, Bruno. You're too late. The Zeppelin's on a collision course. We're all going down together. Out of my way. Listen, everyone. This will be the final broadcast. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! I don't want to hear that. Okay, we're heading straight to the bridge. I need to act fast. Okay, and I need to find that musical note. Um, here. The puzzle is to click on those three things in the correct order. Okay, we're safe. Thank goodness. No, 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 I actually don't see what's broken. Here it is, these things, okay. Okay, now we're safe. Okay, that's good. And that, no, 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 Okay, um, uh, these switches. Pull them in the proper order. Okay, safe, 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 safe. Disaster averted. Time to stop Bruno. It's done. I've punished everyone in this town. So I could put an end to his delusions if I get the amulet off of him. So if we give him lies, that will make him angry. So we need to go with the truth. This is not Frankie, this is Bruno. Bruno? I'm not Bruno. I'm Frankie. Quit impersonating your dead brother, Bruno. And this is a jigsaw puzzle. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh, what you want to do is put all of the pieces together. This is a uh, move the musical instruments around puzzle. Oh, come on, Frankie. Frankie is dead. He is dead. This body once belonged to Bruno. But now it belongs to me, Frankie. Seriously, Bruno, you're going to say you're possessed? Really? 
really well. I don't understand this puzzle. I think you click on the four things in the proper order, five things in the proper order, and then here you make matches. You are not back from the grave, Bruno. No! That was my only connection with my brother! Hey, thanks, cab guy. Showing up just at the He's right time. He's coming to his senses. He is, in fact, coming to his senses. And so everybody needs to hear the Song of Water. Which means I'm going to play the musical song, which will cure everyone. Police have apprehended the perpetrator of a terrible crime that's gripped New Orleans. Police refuse to share details of the case, but we suspect some fast-thinking detective work was involved. All's well that ends well. This is Jenny Sue reporting live from the reopened Mardi Gras event. Let's hope next time we have a family reunion, it doesn't involve death. Yes, and now we have unlocked the bonus chapter. Bonus chapter, uh, you know, uh, you know, because I'm playing the fancy collector's edition of the game, I get a bonus chapter. This takes place 20 years money. earlier. Bruno and I never had it. What little money we could get our hands on, we shared. Bruno would spend his part rather quickly while I saved my share for something special. You see, when it came to making a living, Bruno believed in luck. And me, I believed in hard work. Well, I'll be. The Dixie Peppers want me to play with them. It's a dream come true. I can't wait to tell Bruno how our troubles are over. So yeah, this happened. This this takes place with Frankie before before he even joined the band. Oh man, and we we definitely needed more money. Yeah. Hey Bruno, wake up! I've got some great news, brother. Bruno. Bruno. What? Where is he? I hope he hasn't gotten into any kind of trouble. Yes, he has, and we're gonna have to save him. That is the main point of this chapter. We need to save poor Bruno. Who is in trouble? Hmm, that looks like a puzzle, so we're gonna have to find all the other parts of the puzzle. Somewhere. Oh, there's old gun! It's gone! Oh no! Bruno, what are you up to? What is he up to? I only keep that gun around for protection. I don't really keep it around for. Looking good, Frankie. Looking real good, Frankie. Not really, I think you need to shave off that little beard thing, but the mustache looks great. Note. Oh, this is a jigsaw puzzle. I haven't seen one of those in a while. What you do is you put all the pieces together to form this picture. Not technically a picture, it's more a list of instructions. At the cafe air, bring the gun, you'll need it! Uh, uh, sounds like Bruno's gotten involved in the wrong, with the wrong sort of people. So, from our house, we take the second right. So he took the second right from our house. Then he's going to take the first right. Um, the second left. Okay, hold on a second. What am I doing? Okay, so it's second left. I am lost already. So I took the second right. Then I take the first right. And I'm going to take the second left. Now I'm going to take the second left again. Okay. Then I take the third right, so that's right number one, that's right number two. That's right number three. And there's the cafe air. Yep, 
that's the spot we're looking for. So what do we have here? Be right back, Joshua. Joshua's the guy in the costume shop. We have a fancy looking house. Huh. Very fancy, looks locked though, and we've also got a closed uh, flower shop. Hold on a second. I think the ladder goes over here so we can look at this. President Andrew Jackson. Looks like. Looked like him, anyway. What am I doing? I am just gonna pour myself a drink while I'm here. Haha. <laughs> Where's the shaker? Does anyone see a shaker? You know what? I just realized something. I think I have not been paying attention to those musical notes. I, I hope I haven't missed a musical note here in the bonus chapter. I'm trying to find all the musical notes in this game. Alright, I want uh, a lemon, a pineapple, and some mint. Made myself some energy tonic. Hey, what are you doing in here? Oh, hi. Can't a man go to the bathroom without someone snooping around the bar? Wait a minute. Is that my medal stuck to the bottom of that bottle you just took? Put it back now, you hear? Sorry. He wants us to put the metal back. So this is a puzzle. You want to put these... You want to put the... I don't know where they go. You want to put the darts in the proper spots. Oh, that gives me a can opener, too. And that gives me the second half of this dart here. Since you've already taken a drink, we can skip the part where I ask you anything to drink. And because you found my metal, that drink is on the house. Woohoo! So, let's go with a simple, what can I do for you? Well, you can start by being more pleasant. Does this look like an information booth to you? Tell you what, if you beat me in a game of darts, I'll tell you what you need to know. Forgetting to look for my musical notes. So, um. Musical notes are not here. Musical notes were on this portion of the game. So we've got a musical note. It was there in my bedroom. There's one by the door and one here. So there's one there. Can I go back to my bedroom? No, no, no! I want to go back to my bedroom! Oh! Oh! Everybody, it looks like I missed that musical note in my bedroom, meaning I just will not be able to find all the musical notes in the game. That, that, that is frustrating. That, uh, that, that is a frustrating musical note, a frustrating loss to take this far into the game. And one musical note apparently is inside here once I, once I get through that, into that area. Let's see what you're made of. I'm made of sadness and crying because I missed that musical note thing. Maybe I'll be able to restart. Okay, so this is the puzzle info. I don't quite understand it. But I'm trying to make higher scores than that guy. And if you fail, you have to, uh, you have to try again. Okay, so maybe I can beat the the bonus chapter and then restart it and get that one musical note I missed. Maybe? Nice steady hand you've got there. Guests are rarely a challenge for me, but you, you're good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I saw him. 
He was in here earlier, sitting with a couple of Tony's guys. A shady bunch, if you know what I mean. They were wearing sunglasses? They're probably up to no good. Didn't hear a lot, but they did mention the costume shop across the street. Hope this helps. Costumey. Okay, so we're going to the- Sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, boy? This'll teach you to mind your own business. Dude! Dude, I was just asking about my brother. I think that is my business. Where am I? Oh, no. Those goons sure did beat you up good. What did you do to provoke them? Hi, stranger. Uh, I'm just looking for my brother. Can't say I saw the guy. Sorry. After they were done with you, they went straight into the costume shop. Oh, gosh, I hope they didn't hurt Joshua. Well, they kind of hurt me. In fact, they did hurt me. They hurt me an awful lot. But thank you for your concern. This is a matching puzzle. You want to find the matching flowers. This is a puzzle where you want to put things where they go? Looks like I'm missing a circle. Oh, well, here's a circle. Mm, looks like I'll need a, an, an insect thing there. And they just killed him. Oh wait, he's not dead, he's just unconscious! Oh, oh good, I thought he was dead for a moment there. Okay, so... Musical note over there. Yeah, poor fellow, we're gonna need to find some smelling salts, so I think in order to get them we have to go back to the flower lady. How is he? He's kind of unconscious. Oh dear. Quick, let's prepare some smelling salts to wake him up. And this is a hidden objects challenge. I actually think this is a double challenge, I believe. Once we find all the hidden objects, we're going to have to put things together. Okay, I'm gonna use the knife on the apple to get a sliced apple. Clean off those spider webs to get that picture. I need a bottle, I need glasses. Found the bottles. Okay, I need yarn somewhere. And the shovel. There's the yarn. There's the shovel. Final thing are glasses. Oh, not a two-part puzzle. We just get to smelling salts. Okay, we just get it right away. Nice. <gasps> what was that awful smell? Oh, my head. Two goons came in, took two of the masks that I had made, and knocked me out cold. It all happened so fast. I never saw who they were. Hmm. I need to rest now a bit. Thanks for helping Joshua. He didn't deserve what happened to him. Neither did I. So what are we doing now? I, I don't know what I'm doing now. I am... Getting that? What is that? That's a tin can. I can open it with a can opener. That's giving me some yarn? No, that's a needle. I think I see what I'm doing here. I am building a fishing rod. I don't know what I'll be fishing for. Right now, it looks like I'm just fishing for clues. Wait, what if... Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on a second, detective. What if I use this over here? Not a good idea. Not a good idea. 